Patrick here. Welcome to Dollar Tree Theater. That's right, Dollar Tree Theater. Another fun-filled week of uh, people voting, and you guys voted. And, um, yeah, pretty excited uh, when I saw the movie that you guys voted for, uh, which is going to be 2008's uh, 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 Autopsy. So this is one of the uh, this is one of those movies. It's a um, after dark horror fest. This is the, from the third edition of that series. Um, for a while there, I think they got up to like five or six. I think maybe a little, I think five or six, maybe more, but I don't think so. And they came out with a series of to die for films, uh, the dark horror fest, eight films to die for. And every Halloween, they would um, they would select eight movies and they would play them on the screen during the week of Halloween. Uh, some were strictly independent, some actually like this, also independent, uh, but it has a strong cast to it. And then Lionsgate would actually go out there and distribute it. They would distribute it either at the, at the theaters, they would play for the week of Halloween, uh, and then they would get home released. Um, and so I actually have a few of these. I, I, I really enjoy them for the most part. Um, they're not, they're not, they don't stretch your brain out or anything else. They're pretty simplistic in, in a lot of ways. Some are really good. Some are really good. Uh, the deaths of Ian Stone, um, uh, that was really strong. Um, uh, I think I have, I think there's something in here that I've already actually done. Um, yeah, I did, it, I did the, uh, the deaths of Ian Stone. I did Crazy Eights. I, rec I, I watched and reviewed Crazy Eights, which I actually thought was really good. Um, what else have I seen? I know that Mulberry Drive used to, and and this is also a thing too. I know, I know these all these movies, especially Mulberry Drive, The Death of Ian Stone, they used to get to played like hell on the Sci Fi Channel. So Sci Fi Channel and and the, and the, uh, the Dark Horror Fest, Eight Films to Die For, they did a they they did a lot of coordination together. They worked together to to make it happen every year. Um, Fear Net was part of it. Uh, R.I.P. Fearnet. Um, let's see. Rue Morgue was in it. Um, Fangoria was in, involved in these movies as well. Uh, they did a uh, like a, the Queen or the Horror Fest every year. They they would put out um, you know they have a contest where you would submit to become Miss Horror Fest of the Year. So this used to be quite a little bit of a thing. And the movies were pretty good too. Like I said, they're you know and they, a lot of them premiered at the uh, on Sci-Fi Channel, after they got played at the theaters. So, uh, for Autopsy, um, which, uh, of course, Dollar Tree Theater, being that any film that we watch, that we can find and watch for $1.25 or less, qualifies for Dollar Tree Theater. And I got this for a quarter. So, this is my Dollar Tree Theater. I got it for a quarter. Um, so, uh, the cast is pretty good. Uh, I thought it was sort of weird that I got Robert Patrick in this movie as playing a mad doctor, and I just got done reviewing a movie that he did called Eloise, where he played a mad doctor. Uh, a little bit of a typecast there, maybe there? I don't know. Uh, Robert Patrick can play just about anything, and he plays a mad doctor pretty well. Uh, this is also noticeable, noticeable for an early appearance by Jessica Loundis. Now, Jessica Loundis now, today, as we speak, she is more doing Hallmark movies and GAC movies. She's more into that. She's that kind of actress now uh, where she's doing more family-oriented stuff. But Jessica Loundis had a really nice uh, little little pop there in horror. Um, I did not know she was in Autopsy until I saw this. Uh, but I do know that she did uh, uh, Avatar, which I you have heard me mention many, many times on this show uh, on, on any of my uh, any of my videos. Uh, it's one of my very favorite horror movies, and it's a movie I'd like to probably to take the tank in the panel one day to talk about it. Um, so basically, autopsy is this: is five friends, of course, right? Five friends, <laughs> and uh, they're partying in New Orleans. They graduate from college. They're partying, having a good time. Uh, they get sort of tanked out, and then they decide to drive home, and that's never a good idea. And uh, so somewhere deep in the Louisiana, deep in Louisiana, they crash their car. Uh, they get out and of course, you know, being in the middle of Louisiana, there's no phone, there's, you know, no signal for phones. And, um, so, and then to make things worse, 
Uh, to make things worse, it looks like they have actually ran over somebody. Um, and so uh, just, just as they're starting to deal with that, suddenly out of the blue, an ambulance shows up. And out of the ambulance, and believe me, this was a pleasant surprise. Pleasant surprise. Uh, none other than Robert Lasardo, one of the great un unsung uh, indie film actors going today. Robert Lasardo is an amazing actor. <laughs> He's pretty badass. Um, and also his cohort in this movie is the actor named Michael Bowen. And let me tell you, that guy works hard too. Uh, uh, Bowen and Lasardo, what a, what a formidable pair. Uh, great casting, I got to tell you. Um, so they go ahead and, and, and they find this guy and say, well, he, he's, uh, it looks like he escaped from surgery. They've been looking for him for hours. And of course, all five, all five of the, of the young kids are going like, oh, yeah, that sounds right. That's, yeah, that sounds legit. <laughs> uh, so they say, well, why don't you jump in the back of the ambulance? And we'll take you to the little hospital and get you checked out as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know, we're going to leave our car there without any, without any, you know, we're just going to leave it there without, uh, you know. You know, no no flares, no nothing. You know, just leave it out and stick it out in the middle of the road for someone else to hit. Um, so they get in the back of the van and uh, the ambulance and they zip over to the uh, Mercy Hospital. And, of course, as soon as you walk inside Mercy Hospital, you already know things are going sk are sketchy already because there ain't nobody there. That's always a telltale sign when you go inside of a hospital is when there's nobody there. Like, there's no patients, there's no guards, there's no overhead pages, there's no nothing. But you still walk in there. So that's what happens to our five heroes. They walk inside there um, and they do meet a uh, they do meet a, a nurse, Nurse Marion. And uh, of course, she fills out all their paperwork and she tells them that uh, they're not allowed to go leave out of the uh, uh, leave out of the visiting area. And only one at a time can go back there and be examined and none of their friends can go back there with them. Uh, at first, it doesn't really seem to be anybody banged up that bad. Uh, but lo and behold, we find out that one of the kids uh, has actually hurt himself pretty good. He he was going to go kiss up on his girlfriend. Uh, actually, he's going to kiss up on, on, on Jessica. And she knows that he's bleeding. And lo and behold, he's a lot, little bit more seriously hurt than we thought. Uh, of course, he gets taken in to, in, in, take it in to be examined. And, uh, and then the friends start noticing like there's a lack of activity other than the nurse. So when she gets pulled away, they start exploring the, the hospital. And, of course, that leads to all sorts of shenanigans because um, the hospital is not what it seems like. Um, there's, there's, some, some shady, there's some shady things going on. Uh, Dr. Benway, who's played by our, our Robert Patrick, he is the leader of his very, very small staff of four people. Two orderlies and a nurse. And uh, so everybody's walking around the hospital, and it's like, you would think that after you walk by the first two hospital, uh, first two rooms, and see nobody, nothing, not hide a hair or nothing, that would be like a signal for you to run back out and go like, yeah, um, we're good. And why didn't the phone work uh, right outside the hospital? Um, I'm sure that maybe not inside the hospital, but definitely outside the hospital, there would have been a, a signal. Uh, so, yeah, uh, and of course they're doing nefarious, uh, uh, they're doing the nefarious experiments, I think, uh, because it looks like, I, I thought they were going to be doing the same thing as the, the, for Harvest, the IFC Midnight film that we watched last Sunday. I thought initially at first that was going to be, it's what they were doing. They're going to take the patients and harvest their organs, but honestly, it doesn't really seem to be doing that. It just seems to be just like going to town and killing people and uh and there is some there is some deaths yeah oh yeah people die some pretty hideous ways here um uh and it, it isn't quite what uh, it isn't quite what you think it is um and uh but of course you know all four people are all shady and and, and up to no good and the real question is who's going to survive and uh, what will become of them all right i think i, I think i snuck in a tagline there uh, uh, so overall, this movie is, um, it's pretty fair. It's fair. It's, I, I, I don't know, maybe because I just saw Eloise, I really wasn't taken with it. Um, there's nothing more frustrating than seeing 
really um, supposedly smart characters do stupid shit, um, you know. But of course, you know, it makes the movie go forward. Um, so yeah, um, overall, overall I, I would, I was, I was all right. It was definitely worth a watch. Uh, if you're a completist and you want to collect every movie in the series, yeah, you want this too. Uh, the benef the uh, special features, the special features aren't bad. Uh, it includes a comment, uh, a crew commentary, a director and crew commentary about the movie, which really does help it. And it does tell you that this movie really was not, it was sort of fluid uh, as it was being made. They didn't even really have a concrete uh, uh, a script down right before they right before they filmed they, this movie was going to be they had like four or five different ideas as they were bantering them around they were actually getting ready to shoot the very first day that's not a really good that's not a really good sign for your movie um generally you want to have your script locked into place and um and you know and going forward but they were saying how they had like four or five different plot uh different plots that they were going through and they weren't really sure which one was gonna they were gonna go with until right before they shot um the cast the cast tries hard robert patrick doesn't have much to do but he's effective uh jessica landis a very uh, very young jessica landis um she does a nice job too the rest of the cast is is, is uh it's fine um i didn't hate this movie uh, i'm not in love with it either uh, I thought it was for a quarter. That's about what I would pay for it. Honestly, I pay a quarter for it. I, did, I I I I liked it enough to keep it. Let's put it that way. You know, maybe someone else wanted to take a look at it. You know, be worth a watch. But I don't see myself dashing over there and pulling it out there and going like, "Hell yeah, take a look at this." Um. So yeah. All right. So Dollar Tree Theater. The new Dollar Tree Theater is up and running now. And uh, we put out some 70s action movies, and we also put out DC Cab. And last I heard, looked, DC Cab is winning. So, um, so you guys go over there in the community, my community tab, and vote for uh, which movie you'd like to see uh, uh, for the next Dollar Tree Theater. All right, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. Um, hit the notification bell, hit the sub button. And uh, we will talk and leave a comment. You know, if you've seen Autopsy, uh, give us what you think of it. Tell us what you think of it. Tell us if it's a, if it did you like it a lot? Did you not like it a lot? Um, yeah, drop some drop some uh, drop some insight on that. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, yeah, we will see you for the next one. Um, peace.